When you look at day in, day out, we talk about the economy slowdown. We talk about these trade tensions between the U.S. and China. We talk about possible auto tariffs on, on Europe. H how difficult is it to actually have a good picture about where the world economy is going? So how difficult is it for you to make decisions about the future? Well, certainly the world is a bit complicated, but at the end of the day, everything is also related to the way you manage your own company and your own growth drivers on what you develop inside the company. Uh, to go over the cycles on, uh, on, on the difficulties of the day. Uh, when, when I look where we come from, I mean, we exit 2018 with an extremely strong growth, 7% uh, in our two business, energy management and industrial automation. And as we look uh, forward, and as we look to, uh, to uh, the future, uh, our two businesses are supported by two extremely strong transitions which mm -hmm. are happening today. The energy transition, which is going into uh, direction for more electricity and more efficiency, supported by digitization. And of course, Industry 4.0, because every industrialist in the world is getting more automated and is merging the world of operation together with the world of IT. So those are the two transitions which are supporting our, our, aspira uh, our guidance for growth, yeah. which we declared uh, this week to be 3 yeah. to 5 percent for next year. But w when you look at the sentiment for this year, for this year yeah, when you look at the sentiment of anti globalization, right, do you have to look at your supply chains? H have you felt in any way, shape, or form the, 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 you know, the fact that actually trade is going down and that some nations are more inward looking? Yeah, but I, I mean, we are a global company, right? We do as much business. Right. Asia is our first region. North America is the second one. Europe is the third one. And then we do a lot in, uh, in the rest of the world. But from the beginning, our markets, the needs of our customers are different from one place to the other one. So while we are a global company and having our customers benefit from global technologies, the way we do business and the way the products we develop are significantly different from one geography to the other one. The supply chain is multi-local. Okay, so you haven't changed the supply chain. If you had to change the supply chain, could you? How quickly could that, could that actually happen? Well, we have 200 factories in the world, 100 distribution centers, so we could reroute things. But the reality is that already today, from the start, everything is very local. Not because we want, because our customers want the product for yesterday according to their specifications. So you've got to be very fast in your delivery. I, I was excited to have you on the show because every day we talk with academics and we talk with experts on trade, but you see it first on the ground. Yeah. Is there a slowdown? Are we going to see a possible recession? What are your customers? I mean, you're present in Asia. Are you worried about the slowdown in China being actually much more than the markets are saying? Look, it all depends where you come from, right? We grew 15% last year in China, so the base of comparison is really high. And when you come from that level, you can't be completely pessimistic or crying or whining. So what we see is a high base of comparison, but still the dynamics of the energy transition towards more electricity, the dynamics towards more automation on industrial software, which we do from here in the UK, uh, is, is re are really strong. And people are looking for more efficiency in energy and processes, and that's supporting the growth. But that's what, through new technology, how much do you spend? Is it new technology that you develop in-house or are you on the market for acquiring anything? Well, when we speak about digitization, it's almost half of our turnover already. And that was almost zero 10 years ago. So that's a very fast ramp up with triple size in yeah. the past 12 years. And, and, and then, so that has been, the, the, the accelerators of growth have been, of course, digitization and technology on the search for efficiency of our customers. And the second one has been globalization and development in Asia. While we are tripling size in, uh, uh, globally, we are multiplying by six the size of what we do in Asia. But how much do you worry about um, cybersecurity? So Triconex, right, which was your software, was yeah. actually attacked, hit, does it mean that you have to spend more on cybersecurity? Is it, do, do, how do you, you know, do the fault lines on that? Yeah, of course. I mean, as soon as you go into digital, I mean, cybersecurity is coming top of the agenda. And there, are, there is a growing number of attacks on any system in the world uh, where I feel uh, and we spend more and more money on that and more and more resources on that. We don't do it alone, by the way. We do it with other companies with which we ally. Mm. Uh, but from that point of view, it's important to have enough resources and to have clear platforms on which you can massify your effort of defense.